So the topic tonight is dog clippers. They are not the same. What performance can you expect from a five-in-1 dog clipper versus a detachable blade clipper such as the Wall KM10? This is the Kenchi Flash, one of my favorite five-in-one clippers. This is a Wall KM10, one of my favorite detachable blade clippers, okay? These are not the same clipper, but they can do the same job, but perhaps differently. Perhaps there's differences. So we're gonna cover all that tonight. I wanted to show you guys, uh, Joy Z is a different kind of a different, uh, it's a different brand of Kenchi, but it has all the same attributes and qualities that our Kenchi tools and equipment possess all the time. Kenchi strives for excellence and they definitely breathe that into this brand called Joy Z. So I wanted to talk specifically about this for a minute because you're probably seeing these clippers a lot in social media, um, anywhere that you go to buy your dog grooming supplies, you're gonna see them. The distributors are carrying their, their clippers and their, their products. So they just launched this. They also launched five new clippers and each one has its own superpowers. But what are the differences and how do they compare to our old faithful Wall KM10, Andis A5, Andis 5 Speed? How does Joy Z compare to that? We are going to talk about that tonight, guys. So let's, um, yeah, keep going here. Now I'm all, I'm all unsorted here for the night. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. So. Tonight, I am definitely going to show you comparisons that will enable you to truly understand how to determine the capabilities of a five-in-one cordless clipper, uh, multiple, the, all the different five-in-one cordless clippers that are on the market today. I'm going to help you understand how to determine the capabilities of those five-in-one clippers. And I want to help you learn some things about dog clippers that you didn't know. And that goes for our detachable blade clippers too, guys. And before we get started with our clipper demonstration, I have a few exciting announcements to make. I am so excited. You may already know that Alex and I feed our dogs, the farmer's dog, fresh food. And I recently decided to join their team as an ambassador pro, and I'm glad for that. And what that means is I can now offer you a 100% free trial of the farmer's dog food. You can find my link to sign up for that 100% free trial in the description below of this video, guys. Feeding our dogs fresh whole food diet can help us spend many more years with our beloved pets. And I'm a firm believer of that. What we feed our dogs has everything to do with setting them up for a successful life, a healthy life. Dogs are not designed to eat dry, dehydrated food. We've been programmed to that. They are meant to eat a diet full of hydration based on meat, organ meat, veggies, and other whole foods. And the farmer's dog fresh food diet encompasses the daily nutritional needs of our dog's requirements, giving us more years together with our pets. That's, that's the whole goal. Now, gets even funner. Last night during the Super Bowl, the Farmer's Dog launched a brand new advertising campaign to help pet owners learn about this amazing food option for their pets and the benefits. You may have saw the commercial. <laughs> it was good. The title of the campaign that they're running is Forever. I love the word forever. I love that. That is the title of their campaign for this new launch of their advertising, their product, their food. Featuring in that commercial, that commercial featured the bond between a girl and her dog, Bear, over the years. That commercial touched hearts across the country, reminding us how deep our bond is with our pets. Showcasing our love for them is definitely forever, forever. I'm going to play you a 15 second condensed version of that commercial. I'm gonna play it for you right now, but stay tuned till the end of this live stream because I will roll the entire one minute and 45 second commercial that truly captures the lives of these two best friends 
That version has never been publicly viewed, ever. And it is my pleasure to give it to you tonight. Right here, I want you to see the 15 second teaser. I'll always take care of you. I'm gonna hold <laughs> you. It was good. You wait. You wait. Oh my goodness. At the end of this live stream, I'm going to play the one minute and 45 second storyline for that ad. It's very good, guys. And listen, I'll give you a big hug right now before you watch it because you're going to need one. It's just, it makes us feel all the love for our dogs and it's there. So now, next big announcement. And then we're going to move on. The next big announcement is... Do you know what this is? Does anybody know what this is? This is my 11 Steps to Groom Any Dog Table Side Teacher. It is now available on my website for you to purchase. I linked it in the description below. Now you can have the steps to grooming a dog right beside you on the grooming table to keep you on track throughout your dog grooming sessions and ensure that you do not skip a step this laminated guide is easy to pack and with your grooming tools and go with you wherever you may groom dogs. It does only ship in the United States though, guys. I'm so sorry, but shipping out of the country for this product was a real dilemma for me. So this is limited to the United States and I truly do apologize for that. Now let's learn about dog clippers and what the differences are. I'm so excited. Let me get the big screen on for you, okay? Okay, where is it? Here it is. Okay, I'm back, you can hear me. We're gonna get real on this topic tonight, okay? We're gonna learn about dog clippers and what the differences are. There are so many and it is so confusing. And now Joy Z just launched five new clippers on the market for us and how do we, how do we determine what these clippers can do and if it's the right clipper for us and how to use it and when to use it. And that's what we're gonna talk about tonight. I started a Q&A in the chat, so please enter your questions pertaining to the topic there and I promise I will answer them live at the end of this live stream. I promise. And your questions are gonna be very valuable to this live stream because they're gonna bring added information to everybody who's viewing, even on the replay, absolutely. If you're watching on the replay, leave a comment. I will see it, I will get back to you, and I will try to help you overcome whatever it is you're struggling with when it comes to clippers. All right, here we go. What is an adjustable blade clipper, also known as a five-in-one clipper? This is a Kenji Flash. This is an adjustable blade clipper. It's actually a four-in-one clipper. What the five-in-one and four-in-one means is the, which blade do I have on here? Oh, I have the wrong blade on there. What that means is, oh, for lordy, lordy, come on. This has five blades, four blade settings. Most adjustable blade clippers have five blade settings. They go for like a, a 9, 10, 15, 30, 40, and up. So I'm going to put the regular blade back on this clipper. I will be showing you how all this is done. Don't worry. Up close and personal. That's why I wanted the big screen. So this is an adjustable blade clipper this is an adjustable blade clipper this is an adjustable blade clipper i can do this all day this is not an adjustable blade clipper is it no it is not this is a what's referred to as an a5 blade clipper all right so let's get to it i thought i turned off notifications i am a mess tonight messed it all up now we're good okay so the blade can easily adjust to sizes in order to offer the convenience of not having to switch your blades on and off of your clipper like we do with a detachable blade clipper which really is easy on a detachable blade clipper to switch your blade very easy um, it's a little more cumbersome on this we're going to get to that so um that's one of the conveniences for having a five-in-one clipper is not having to switch your blades on and off. But let me show you how to remove the blades on both your adjustable blade and your detachable blade clipper, 
All right, I'm gonna show you that right now. So to remove your blade on your adjustable blade, and this goes for all adjustable blade clippers, you simply put your thumbs right here at the top of the blade and you hold the blade here so you don't pop it off in the midair and you just push forward with your thumbs and it pops right off. Now you can clearly see that this clipper has a way different blade drive than a detachable blade clipper. Look at the strength and look at all the hair in there. Hey, that's a sign of a hardworking dog groomer. This is the blade drive for our detachable blade clippers. This is the blade drive, that little round pin on adjustable blade clippers. So you're already seeing a little bit of difference, right? In the way that they're built. So to get the blade back on your adjustable blade clipper, a lot of people struggle with this. With the Kenshi Flash, there's this little there's this little tab on the bottom, you can see it. You simply line that up right here. Just line it up. I can't do this without really looking at it. My glasses are failing me these days. And then you push forward. So we line that up and we push forward and it pops into place. It is a little cumbersome switching your blades on your adjustable blade clippers. It, they're really, the convenience of these clippers is having the ability to switch the blade size with just a click of a thumb instead of having to remove a blade, put another blade on, and reseat the blade. So how do we take a blade on and off of a detachable blade clipper? This is a detachable blade clipper, the Wall KM10. You know, a lot of Andis uh, clippers you probably have, Oster, um, Schoenbau, there's so many that are detachable blade. They're considered A5 style, A5 blade style clippers, okay? So you're gonna hear that term out there in the industry. That's why I'm throwing it at you right now too. A5 blades are for detachable blade clippers. So in order to get the blade off, there is a release right here. This is what the release looks like on the Wall KM10. You'll find a different looking release on your Andis clipper, but then nonetheless, there's a release. So you press that and press forward right here on your clipper blade and it slides right off of the hinge. This is the blade hinge. Very sturdy situation here with these A5 clippers, right? So to get your blade back on, you simply, there's a slot in your blade right here. You simply set that on the blade hinge, turn on your clipper because we need that blade drive moving because that's what's gonna lock the blade into place. Turn on your clipper and press forward right here. That's it. That's how you switch a blade for an A5 clipper. So now that we've established that, let's move on <laughs> to fun things. Well, hey, this is all very important. You know, I just think that I should take the time to show you. Now the standard blade, I'm gonna start showing you this one here. The standard blade on an adjustable blade clipper is only suitable to perform clipper work in the sanitary areas, which is the pads of feet, the private areas, trimming around the ears and the eyes. But when I say that, I'm saying the standard blade. This is the standard blade that comes with it. This is the adjustable blade. So let me show you how those blade, the, the options on a adjustable blade clipper. So on this particular model, this is the Joy Z Hornet. This is new. So if you turn it on, you just press and hold for six, sec six sec seconds. And you can see your blade adjusters are right here. You just simply move this lever. You have, if I can get the lighting right, jeez Louise, there it is. You have an eight, a nine, a 10, a 15, and a 30 blade, okay guys, on this. So when I say an adjustable blade clipper, such as this, is only suitable for sanitary trimming with the standard blade, I mean that. I mean that even an eight is 
is pretty short to do that on the body and legs of a dog. So I wouldn't use that blade length. I wouldn't use any of these blade lengths to give my dog a full haircut. So the nice thing about this is you can, I'm so backwards with this camera. You can move it, now it's set to a 10. Now it's set to a nine. Now it's set to an eight. You can simply move it while the blade is running all the way up to a 30. A 30 blade is the blade choice that I use to trim paw pads. So I have all the capabilities of doing all my sanitary work, which is paw pads in the private areas around the corners of the eyes and the, and the ears. I have all those capabilities in this one clipper with these blade sizes. I would use a 10 size to do all the private areas. And it's as simple as just switching it. So it's convenient, very convenient. One of the biggest things about these. So let's keep going here. Let's, let's, let's dive a little deeper. If, if you use compatible guard combs, if you use compatible guard comb attachments, you can use a five-in-one clipper to perform full haircuts on dogs of all sizes. Seriously. So let me show you how that works. Most all of our five-in-one clippers are all compatible to use specific guard combs with them. So let's take um, the Joy Z. Joy Z has also a full line of guard combs. And I always use the metal guard combs versus the plastic guard combs because these are very precise, very accurate. They produce better work, no doubt about it. So like you'll always see me using stainless steel guard combs and, and we can get stainless steel guard combs for all clippers. So the nice thing about the Joy Z set is they are compatible with say the Wall Brevera, which is another five in one clipper. So you can use these guard combs on either your Joy Z Hornet, you can use them on your Kenchi Flash, or you can use them on a Wall Brevera if you have it. Or if you already have the guard combs for the Wall Brevera, you can use it with, I think you can use it with the Joy Z Hornet too. Yeah, you can because they're universal. So here's how you put it on. You can see they clearly just have a little slider okay slides right over the blade so you want to line that up you want to gently just press towards the back of the blade until this is seated right against the bottom of the blade okay and that is now on there and this particular guard comb is theirs don't say the length but i'm pretty sure that that is a one inch seven eighths it's a seven eighths okay so you can leave that much length on your dog so now we have turned now we have turned a adjustable blade clipper into a clipper that can perform full haircuts so do you see how that works you have to use these guard combs because the blade sizes and you just simply slide it off to get rid of it go back to your sanitary work. The blade, the standard blade that comes with our five and one clippers and four and one clippers is way too short to use on the body and the legs. It leaves no length of coat. That's why we have guard combs. And all these are compatible with each other, which is kind of nice and they should be. So that is very beneficial to us. Now, however, Kenchi's new Joy Z Hornet Clipper has more capabilities than other adjustable blade clippers. More, I think the Shern Bow has a cool edge clipper, I think it is, that allows you to switch blades too. But that's what this one is. The new Joy Z Hornet Clipper has adjustable blade, uh, blades you can switch out. So it's not only compatible with the guard combs, obviously, but it has its own specific to this clipper blades that you can purchase separately that allow you to give a dog a haircut solely with this clipper. So these are the blades I'm gonna show you how to change them. So we're gonna take this one off, press with our thumbs, push forward. They have 
a three blade. They, they make these blades for this clipper, for the Joy Z Hornets specifically for that clipper. N doesn't That's not universal to others. So they have a three, they have a four blade. Boy, our lighting is just failing us miserably. You have to trust me, that's a four blade. They have a five blade. They have a six blade, which I really like. A six blade is in between the, the length of a seven and a five. I really like that and I used it the other day. Seven blade and then they also have an optional. This is their very fine detailer blade. So you can see the difference in this is the standard blade. This is the fine detailer blade. This is still an adjustable blade. See, there it is. But it has much finer, closer together teeth for detail work, like shaving poodle faces, shaving poodle feet, that kind of stuff, give you a nice smooth finish. So those are the blades that you can get to go with the Joy Z. Now the Joy Z, to get this little guy on, same thing, he has a little tab right here in the back. Can you see that tab? And they have this little notch, get in there, in the clipper, that you simply just lay that there. That's your guide of where to put it. I don't like putting blades on these detachable, adjustable blade clippers are kind of a pain. And, oh wait, that's that's a Kenchi, no, that isn't, okay. Thought it was an, a Kenchi flash blade. And then you press forward. See, it's not very, it works, but you've really got to get used to it. I, I don't, this is one of the reasons I don't like using adjustable blade clippers. It's not, what the world? See, it should be easy. It should be easy and it's not. And you don't want to be fumbling around with this when you're grooming dogs. I mean, it is easy. If you just, it should have been a lot easier than that. And all of them are that way to get the blades on. All these adjustable blade clippers, one of the reasons why I'm like, I don't have time for that. But handy dandy, they do have these blades. So this allows us to produce the same clipping work as with our A5 clippers. So that is one of the big conveniences of the new Joy Z Hornet clipper um, is it has all these blades as well as the guard cones with the regular standard blade that you can use to to leave a lot of length if you want to and some people just actually like trimming with guard combs better than they do with blades so keep that in mind so the kenchi flash also has these capabilities the kenchi flash has blades that are sold separately that will enable you to use this clipper solely to give your dog a haircut so same purpose I actually find it easier to change the blade on the Kenchi Flash over the Kenchi Flash 5 and over the Hornet Joy Z. I am favorable to this clipper. So press forward to get your blade off. This is the standard blade that comes with the Kenchi Flash. I gotta not mix these blades up. I'll be trying to put the wrong blade on the wrong clipper. I tell you, I can see it coming. So let me just make sure I have them together. All right. This particular blade is a five blade. You can get five, you can get three, four, five, and seven blades on the Kenji Flash on this clipper. And a lot of you have it. So when we put the blade on the Kenji Flash, it's so much easier, it's so much easier. Now we have a fixed blade, we cannot adjust this. This doesn't work anymore. This is a fixed five blade, okay? So you can do full haircuts with it, but you do have to purchase these blades separately. And I know there for a while they offered on their website, that was on Kenji's website, they offered a bundle for the additional blades with the Kenji Flash. So, so Kenji Flash can also do what this guy can do. Okay, it's uh, confusing. They're the same thing. You pick which one you want. That's, you know, if you already have a flash, you're golden because you, you can do a lot with that flash clipper, trust me. So 
We talked about the specific blades for the Kenchi Flash. The Kenchi Flash added a 30 blade. So the Kenchi Flash initially did not have the capability. Where is that blade? I know I put it here. Initially, they did not have the capability to use guard combs. They gave you these plastic combs that came with it, and they were not they didn't produce good work they really didn't and they quickly realized that which is awesome so they said all right all right all right we're gonna make a specific 30 blade for the kenchi flash to allow our friends to be able to use the guard combs so that's what they did and that came out i don't know about a year after the clipper maybe not that long so this goes on just like that. But as you can see, it's now raised up. This is how it, that is the design they had to create in order to make it compatible with the guard combs that are, you can use for either a wall Bravera if you already have those guard combs for a five in one clipper or with the Kenchi version of the guard combs. Now you can use that with the flash but this is purchased separately, this 30 blade that allows you to do that. And it is now not a adjustable blade anymore. So in order to use the guard combs, you can, you have to have this 30 blade and you can use those guard combs with it. So we will go back to the standard blade. I just think it's easier getting the blades on and off of the Kenchi flash. Maybe I spoke too soon. No, it is easier. So there's some other differences with this Kenshi Flash versus some of these other five-in-one clippers that we are gonna talk about, guys. The things that I've noticed and things that I want you to know and help you make better decisions. So if you have the metal guard comb set for either of those clippers for the um, Bravera or for the Flash, it was for the Flash. I'm getting these confused now. For the flash, if you have those guard combs, they will now work. If you have that 30 blade, they will work with your Kenchi flash, this guy, who also comes in black, either white or black. So you have that. And all adjustable blade clippers offer compatibility to use specific guard comb attachments made for five-in-one clippers. Very specific. So all of our five-in-one adjustable blade clippers have the capability and compatibility to use guard combs, but they are specifically for five-in-one clippers, so you really have to make sure you know that. And that offers us the ability to perform full haircuts with a clipper style like that. Now, we're gonna get into it. However, as a professional dog groomer, I do not prefer to use five-in-one clipper to perform full grooms on dogs, the dogs that I groom, especially professionally because I'm on a schedule other than puppies and very small dogs. And here's why. For puppies, this is a, a much more easier clipper to maneuver with puppies. Puppies are very mobile when you're grooming them often. And this clipper is pretty lightweight. Another reason I like to use it for puppies is it's, it's, it's pretty quiet. Now this is a two speed, so it has low and high. My mic's here, I keep forgetting. There's high, there's low. And you press and hold the button for six seconds and it turns off. So I do like using these to give puppies haircuts. Of course I'm using guard combs, right? Because we wanna leave length, we wanna leave some length. So the guard combs come in a set of multiple lengths. You can pick whatever your length is depending on the breed that you're grooming. But that's where these shine is with puppies. They shine with sanitary trimming, absolutely. And they also, some dogs are very, very tiny. Some of our little Yorkies are very, very tiny. And to give them a full haircut, I find myself going for these five-in-one clippers on those small dogs. And I'm talking small dogs, under 10 pounds, probably even smaller than that. Because it's easier for me to work with these clippers with those very tiny dogs when I'm giving them full haircuts versus 
um, my bigger clipper, which is a very comfortable clipper to me. This guy is very comfortable, I love it. But sometimes with those little tiny teeny weeny dogs, your five in one clippers with these adjustable, with the blade options and adjustable um, guard combs and having the guard comb attachments being able to be compatible with that is often the solution for the small dogs and for the puppies. So yeah, that is typically as a professional the only time that I would use a five in one clipper to give a dog a full haircut. Is it a puppy? And is it a very, very tiny dog? Those are the times that I do that. Now let's talk about the differences between the blades on detachable blade clippers and the blades on the five in one clipper. This is a detachable blade, this is a five in one clipper. What are the differences in these blades? All right, detachable blade clippers use metal blades. They use metal blades and sometimes they have a ceramic cutting edge, okay? But the blade is metal, always. Five-in-one clippers, five-in-one clipper blades are unable to be sharpened because they are made, they are comprised mainly of plastic and a little bit of metal in the mold. But these have a lot of plastic in them, okay? So they are not the same as a metal detachable blade, and, and they do have their disadvantages. So we're gonna talk about that. The five-in-one clippers use blades comprised of both metal and plastic. Five-in-one clipper blades are unable to be sharpened, and you have to buy a replacement blade when this becomes dull. So that is a fact. These are throwaways, and you have to buy another blade. So always buy two when you buy one, so you have a spare. Gotta keep these with the right clipper. Now, Detachable blades, these guys, detachable blades can be sent out for sharpening. And I use Kenshi's sharpening service for all my clipper blades and shears. I am very pleased with their sharpening service, guys. I've put a link in the description below to Kenshi's sharpening service if you're looking for a service where you can send your metal A5 detachable blades to be sharpened. Never can you sharpen a five in one blade, they're throwaways. You can also send your shears to Kenshi. So I have linked their specific to the specific page for you guys of where you would go to download the form for to send blades and scissors to be sharpened from Kenshi. Now the difference between the teeth spacing, this is where it gets real. The difference between the teeth spacing on a five and one clipper blade combined with their plastic build versus a detachable clipper blades also known as A5 blades, is the key to how each performs while clipping dog hair. All right, now let's dive into that. The spacing of the teeth, see how these teeth are so close together and these not so much? This is a 10 blade, by the way. This is one of Kenji's new blades. When it was, anyway, I'm not gonna say anything about that. Anyway, okay, so see how fine those teeth are. I want you to remember this. We're gonna dive a little deeper into this. And these have a little bit more spacing. And here's the cutting, cutting side of the blades. These teeth are much finer, they're much smaller, they're dainty. Can be nice for nice detail work, right? All right, well, let's talk about that. The teeth are very close together on a five and one clipper blade, including these fixed three, four, five, six, and seven blade options that we have with Joy Z. They're much closer together. And if you notice, this is another reason why I like the Kenshi Flash. What's up, Alex? We're learning here. Oh, I'm gonna teach, teach some stuff real quick. What? I'm gonna say, can you see that? Press on Amy's head <laughs> right there, and now you can ask a question. Oh, they're not sure how to do it. Well, I, I use Siri, and it came out like gibberish. Oh, <laughs> so. okay. Well, so, thanks for giving him the demo. That, that makes it easy. It. Now I'm gonna go back to the bulldog before he starts flipping out. <laughs> I heard him barking early. He was going nuts. So this 
This is the Kenchi Flash, this clipper. This is the blade. This is the Joy Z. This is one of their detachable blades, okay? Fixed blade. Look at the difference in the teeth, even on this Kenchi Flash. Kenchi Flash, had, the teeth are separated more than here on the Joy Z brand blades. And I understand so much now, since I've been studying these blades, why I like the Kenchi Flash better. That mimics the work produced by our metal detachable blades. Do you see that? Kenchi matched the spacing to the spacing on our metal blades. And there's advantages to that, I'm going to tell you. That's, that, that definitely is one reason why I like the Kenchi Flash. I like the, the regular standard blade on the Kenchi Flash as well for the same reason. So where was I here? I want to make sure I don't forget to tell you anything because I just put so many notes on things I did not want to forget to tell you. So the teeth are definitely closer together on the 5-in-1 blades except the Kenchi Flash. So that's, that's important. In order to ensure a smooth clip, I find I have to move slower. I have to move slower with these 5-in-1 clippers. In order to ensure a smooth pass of my clipper, I have to move consistently and a little slower with each clipper pass to ensure the hair is being fed into the cutting edge area when giving a dog a haircut using a 5-in-1 clipper because the teeth are so fine and close together. I find that I have to give this blade time to plow through and chew through the coat because it has to make it through these fine little teeth. This is what I'm finding. I've been doing a lot of these studies and I'm finding this out. As a professional groomer, that slows me down, forcing me to use my A5 clipper blades forcing me right back to them. I mean, they're good, they're reliable, produce good work, one pass looks great. But now that we have wide A5 blades, which is wonderful, and guard combs, now that we have wide A5 blades and guard comb attachments available to us, I find I rarely choose a regular A5 clipper blade or a five-in-one clippers to groom the dogs that I work with when I'm doing body and legs. Always go for these in my sanitary, no doubt. But body and legs, I was going for this. Now that we have wide blades for these detachable blade clippers with wide blade guard, guard attachments that go just this little thing seats right on the back. You press forward, it locks into place. It's very sturdy. I find myself only going for the wide blades when I do my body blading and my legs or you know, doing scissor work over the top of the head, under the muzzle, you name it. I use these wide blades. They're fabulous. It's a game changer. Wide blades have been a game changer for me. And in order to produce beautiful work, in much less time. It, it's, it's fantastic. And for that reason, a detachable blade clipper such as my Wall KM10 is the clipper that I choose to use 99% of the time of the dogs that I groom, including small dogs over 10 pounds. Seriously, I use these wide blades on even dogs 10 pounds or more. It's fine to do the body blading. If I it's so falling apart. I just lost my mic. I got it. Oh my goodness. So I think that's important. I wanted to share that with you guys. Put that guy there. Hopefully he stays on there. Okay. That I I am really going to these wide blades. Crazily. This is this is my choice. You often see me using the wide blades clipper blades and the, and the guard combs just like this and the videos on my channel for the past year since they became available to us on the market you will often see that that's what I'm using 
even on my, my Morky trim, I used the, the wide blades, I believe. I think I did. Maybe I used a 501. I don't remember. But I use this every day on dogs that size, Shih Tzus, Lasses. And one thing to keep in mind when using wide clipper blades and guard combs is that the blade is heavier than a standard blade, okay? The blade and the guard comb adds some weight on this hinge, okay? The blades are heavier than a regular A5 detachable blade and it, and it can cause our blade drives, which is this little guy that moves back and forth when our clipper's running, it can cause our blade drive and the hinge, the blade hinge, which is this, where the blade seats, can cause them to need to be replaced sooner. And that's for a given. But I'll tell you, it's a small, <laughs> very small price to pay, very small trade-off. It's well worth it. And replacing a blade drive and a blade hinge is not difficult and the parts are cheap, so don't let that scare you away from using these wide these wide blades and guard cones. I absolutely love them. And yes, I do have to replace my blade drives sooner. And it took me a while to realize that that's why. It's the weight. It's the weight. It makes the blade drive work harder. So for sure. Now, Joy Z has manufactured wide blades. Joy Z is who's making these new clippers. Remember, they have five new clippers. They have guard cones. They have A5 blades. They have wide blades coming on the market. They have manufactured wide blades and guard combs that are expected to outperform any competitors in the wide blade market. They'll be scheduled to release in March of 2023, so next month they're scheduled to release and I'll be testing them for you very soon, guys. I'm very excited for that. And I'm gonna link them in the description below so you can go ahead and check them out. They do have them up on the website, it just says coming soon. So at least you can check them out. But I'll tell you one thing about Kenchi's blades and their shears, their metal is, nobody can touch it. The metal that they use and their, the, the way they're able to put the edge on their blades and their shears is just above and beyond. So I'm excited. I have high hopes for Kenchi's wide blades and their guard cones. And they are sold under the Joy Z line. Okay, it's on the separate website. That's where they, that's where you can get them. So now I'm gonna set the record straight on 501 clipper blades. It's 501 clippers. The blades on 5 in 1 clippers vary from one brand model to the other. Now I just talked to you about that, how the blade on this Kenchi Flash varies from the blade on this Joy Z. The teeth are closer together on most of the blades on the Joy Z. I've noticed the blade on the Kenji Flash is designed differently than the blade on most five-in-one clippers. And that is why I like the Flash better. It's one of the reasons I think is proof why I like it better. Here's why. The teeth are longer. So starting here to here, the teeth are longer on the Kenji Flash and the angle of the blade is different too. And I also noticed that there is more space between the teeth on the Kenchi flash blades. These are all the visible differences. And I believe that it is the reason that I prefer the quality of work that I produce with the Kenchi flash over other five in one clippers. Don't get me wrong, this clipper is a great clipper. It really is. And I've been testing a lot on Instagram last week. But I always go back to when I compare, I go, whoa. I like the flash. I like the way the flash performs better. I like the results I get. It's all about results for me, guys. I like the results I get with the Kenji Flash much more than the Kenji Flash 5 or the Wall Rivera or the Joy Z. But that doesn't mean that you will. But I found the reason for that is definitely in the way they designed this blade. That's the secret to the Kenji Flash. The blade is on a different angle. I'll show you the Joy Z. This is the flash. This is the Joy Z. I really have a hard time. You see that? The teeth are longer too. So I think it pushes through the coat differently. And that goes for the Kenchi flash too. 
which they made this. This is a great clipper too, guys. They're all good clippers. This is all, these are all five in one clippers I'm talking about at the moment. But the angle of the blade on the Flash 5 is a little different than the angle of the blade on the Kenshi Flash. And it really makes a difference. What's up, I boss tell, man? I want to tell you that that it isn't does working. not work on the phone. You Next know, thing I want to tell you is Nicole Newbie yeah. was asking if I was single. <gasps> I told her no. <laughs> so I was happily married. He's so full of it. They got, they, there's questions in so, the chat that okay. going, she's not able to, to comment. I am going to, oh, okay, I'm going to get rid of this Q&A thing. I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah. It, I told you it was it was acting up when out of the gate. It yeah. really made my chat do weird things. I don't think it's quite ready. Well, I've been using it for the last few live streams. It was fine, but I they're constantly YouTube is working on this stuff right now, hot and heavy, and I just think that things are just they're goofing up. So guys, listen, if you do have questions and you want me to answer them about clippers and blades, please press and hold the dash button so you make a line. And I will be able to see it then, and I'll be able to get to it. I can just scroll through it, okay? But if you don't do that, I, I will not be able to see your questions because there's, you know, it's too hard to keep up with that in the chat. And if she doesn't answer your questions, I will punish her accordingly. <laughs> really? Just kidding. We know who wears the pants in this family. Oh, we both wear the pants, honey. <laughs> All right. So, guys, what I'm trying to tell you with this Kenshi Flash Blade. I think it is a fabulous design, and I don't know of any other five-in-one clippers on the market that have this design on the blade. And this was one of our older favorite clippers. So if you're lucky enough to have purchased the Kenshi Flash before any of these new five-in-one models came out, came to the surface, then you can rest assured that you have one of the best five-in-one clippers on the market today, guys. This is my favorite. And I love to use it for sanitary trimming too. The blade does a better job. So, and when it comes to performing any sanitary work, pads, pads of feet, private area around the eyes and the ears, I, I do rely solely on my five-in-one clippers. One of these five-in-one clippers is gonna be doing that work for me. I always use my five-in-one clipper for sanitary work. Pads of feet, private areas, corner of the eyes and ears, that's what I, always use these can these clippers for those are sensitive areas and these blades are gentle to the skin lessening the chance to cause irritation very important the five in one clipper blades they do not heat up because they're made of plastic and i only need to apply very little pressure on the blade to trim in those areas when i'm trimming in the sanitary area I don't need to put much pressure at all on this blade. It, it's so gentle and easy to get in there and just graze that hair out. You don't want to put a lot of pressure in those sanitary areas because that's all tender skin. So I, and don't hate your A5 detachable blades because they get hot, because they heat up. Don't hate them for that. Metal is a heat conductor. It's just the way it is. But plastic, plastic definitely is not a heat conductor, which is why these five-in-one blades don't get hot. But because the A5 blades are made of metal, they're stronger and often the better choice when clipping on a heavy coat, such as a poodle, doodles, or cocker spaniels. I also find my A5 blades pack less with the hair due to the spacing between the teeth, like we talked earlier. The spacing between the teeth on these adjustable blade clippers, the five-in-one clippers, is very tight together. So not the same thing on our A5 blades. The spacing is a little different and I, and I feel like it, it doesn't pack more with hair where we have to clean out our blade, even if it's a 10 blade under a guard comb on this clipper. I find it doesn't pack as quickly. But don't be fooled by the RPM the SPM, speed strokes per minute, how many times this blade is going back and forth. Don't be fooled by the SPM on five-in-one clippers. 5,000 to 6,000 sounds powerful, and it is. 
that is powerful strokes per minute. But the fine teeth on the blade can only handle so much hair at any given time. So as we're going through this coat, these fine teeth can only chew up so much hair at any given time because of the fine teeth on the blade. That's why I still use my big guy here for the body blading on my most all dogs. I, I will use this for full grooms on very small dogs and puppies. Other than that, it's this guy. So I used the optional six blade the other day on this Joy Z. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that. I used the optional six blade on the Joy Z Hornet Clipper the other day and, and I set a pattern on a miniature schnauzer. Schnauzer? Miniature schnauzer. And it did do a nice job, guys. So it, you, you could see that on my stories and stuff this week on uh, Instagram. So I did use that six blade with the Joy Z. I set the pattern set on a miniature schnauzer. It did a nice job, but I could have set the pattern faster with my A5 clipper and blade, like my Wall KM10. My A5 blades my A5 blades do not seem to produce the clipper marks in the coat as easily as the Joy Z with the optional six blade did. So I still, can you do it? Can you do it all with this clipper? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Are you a professional groomer that grooms five, six, seven dogs a day? I don't think you're gonna wanna go for this on every groom. Probably those little tiny small dogs you might, that'd be great. But you're still gonna rely on these A5 clippers, I'm telling you. They, they produce good work fast. And as a professional, that's what we need. So if you're a home groomer and you happen to have the Wall KM10, you still can do everything we talked about today. You don't have to have a five-in-one clipper to trim sanitary areas. You can simply use a 10 blade on your Wall KM10, which it comes with a 10 blade, to do all the sanitary area and the private areas and pads of feet. You can still do that. And now you and then you can use your guard comb set to leave length. It's it's very simple. So ultimately, I do tip my hat to brands such as Kenji for making such impactful five in one clippers, giving us the option to perform full grooms on our dogs of all coat types and sizes, you absolutely can give a dog a haircut with this five-in-one clipper, with most five-in-one clippers on the market, a full haircut. Some people suffer from problems with their hands and these clippers offer the solution to give them the option to groom dogs with a lightweight, adequate dog clipper. There's no doubt about it. So that is the conclusion to this today is what do I prefer as a professional? I prefer to do all my body blading work, with pattern sets, everything with my A5 clipper, typically with the wide guard combs and wide blades. That's, that's what I prefer on a daily basis professionally. I feel I don't have to make as many passes to make a nice smooth finish. I feel this gets me there quicker and it, it just must be the way the metal blade and teeth plow through the coat. I don't know. I'd have to think about it, but I think that is why. I think it has to do with the teeth and the metal blade. And, and this guy's got nice consistent power. This clipper's got power too, but this is a different motor than what's in here. You wanna listen? So this is the Joy Z Hornet. This is the Wall Cam 10. This is a brushless motor, requires no maintenance. So I, I use these every day for sanitary trimming. Paw pads, private areas around the corners of the eye, sometimes to shave the ear on a schnauzer, um, detailed work on the face, on a cocker spaniel. These are fabulous clippers for that and they do a better job than these blades because these fine little teeth blades they produce a nice smooth plush finish but when you're going through thick heavy double coat sometimes you know like on our cocker spaniels this can do it but it's not going to get you there as quickly as this that that's what i experience as a professional groomer 
So now let's get to your questions, guys. I hope I can find them. Oh my goodness. Okay, have a question? Yes, let's see. Here's a question. Bonnie says, on small dogs, I have two schnauzers. Okay, awesome. A toy and a mini, but I do not think that I would, the type is so small, but I do not think that I would, that it would work as well for somebody who is not a professional, right? What? Which clipper? I don't know. Uh, small dogs. On small dogs, someone who's not a professional, I think you, you know, if you bought the whole bundle of the guard combs that go with this, um, and then the five in one blade, maybe you might want to get the six blade or the seven blade. I think you could produce really nice work with it if this was, if you were only grooming your dogs. You definitely could. Um, I feel like a detachable blade clipper is going to do a better job though. Nicer, smoother finish, obviously with using our guard combs, our stainless steel guard combs. It, it's just what I use 90% of the time. Um, if I wasn't a professional, I probably wouldn't know that. I probably would think that I should be using this. Oh, that must be made for me. I'm a pet owner because it's smaller and cuter and quieter. That's not what it's all about. These are, are, are more convenient to use for smaller dogs, um, little puppies, whatever. So it's lovely to have these options as a professional. Um, but the sanitary work that they can produce is much better than the sanitary work we can produce on these clippers. So that's where these guys shine. These guys shine for the workhorse part of the job and these guys shine for the detail part of the job. And I think that's a good way to think about it. Nicole Newby says, Amy, do you have any plans to try the Wall KMX? I don't at the moment because I'm not sure if I wanna buy another clipper. I know I'm gonna be trying Kenchi's new A5 cordless clipper. I can't wait to try that. And that's probably gonna be sometime in March or April. I'm gonna be trying that. But I have the Wall KM cordless, which is the same version of this. And that's a great clipper too. I have two of these. I have three, four, five and one clippers, you know. I. I don't have plans to try it unless Wall wants to send it to me. I would be absolutely delighted to do that. <clears throat> a lot of brands, <coughs> a lot of brands are not quick to send me things. <coughs> but Kenchi, I've developed a relationship with them and they rely heavily on feedback from you and anybody who uses their products. And that is why Kenchi does give me their clippers to try is the first thing they say is we really, really rely on your feedback. And I'm gathering my feedback to send back to Kenchi on these. I know one of the, the major flaws of the Kenchi Flash 5, love this clipper. One of the major flaws is that this clipper tends to want to roll. It's very sleek and smooth, which when I first got it and picked it up, I, I could feel the difference between the Flash and this, I'm like, oh wow, it just feels so nice. And then I laid it down on the table as I'm working and it rolled right off the table. I didn't roll it off, it rolled off the table. And this little tip breaks off the blade and you can't use it. Every time, I've done it twice. I have uh, other groomer friends on Instagram that email me and tell me the exact same thing happens to them multiple times. So it's just a design flaw and I'm sure Kenji will fix it. That's what they want. They want the feedback. They can change designs. They can do that. So that is the one thing that, you know, I can only say about the Flash 5 is that that little thing always breaks off the blade, but uh, you don't have that on the Flash. So it, it's not an issue. Plus the Flash is more squared off. It doesn't tend to want to roll off the table. This one literally will just start rolling when you lay it on the table. I'm like, no, <laughs> you know, boom, it hits the floor. I say it's been, it's hit the floor like twice. The clipper's fine, so it's a strong clipper. It breaks that little tip off the blade and then it, you can't use it. You have to throw it away. And sometimes it's a brand new blade. You have to throw it away. So that really stinks. But 
aside from that, you know, everything is great with the Flash 5. I still prefer the Flash over that. And Andrea says, should I wait on Kenji Clipper review before investing in Wall KM10? Um, I just kind of gave you the rundown on it. I mean, it, I told you it can do whatever you want. As far as this goes, the Joy Z Hornet, it can do the job. Um, if you had a very, very thick, heavy coat or a heavier coat, I just prefer to use A5 blades. I feel like I like the work that they produce over this. This, I have to work a little harder to get it to produce on certain coat types to get it to produce the, the look, the work that I, I want professionally. And, and I want you guys to have professional results. I tell you that all the time. That's why I share my secrets of the pet grooming with you. I don't want you to have haphazard results. I want you to have professional results by using professional products and choosing which one is right for you. So you can do everything you need to do with this. Sanitary work, um, body blading, powder set, pattern sets, everything. You can do it all with this. You can do it all with this too. So <clears throat> there's really, I, I don't know that I'm actually gonna be making a review video of the Joy Z. I have been reviewing it pretty hot and heavy on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me there, you should, because you will see a lot of short little clips of me working throughout my day on Instagram. I can just pop them up there, lickety split. It's not a big deal, it's easy. It's not like making a video for YouTube. So do I think I'm gonna make a whole video on YouTube and review this clipper? I don't think I'm gonna do a review of this. Um, you're gonna see me using it. I'm going to use it in videos and explain what I like about it and how I like using it and why. So that you can count on. Um, Cindy says, hi Amy, are those mini clippers worth buying? This little guy, this little tiny guy, this is the Hornet Mini. I, I like it, it's super cute. It has two speeds. Here, can you hear that? The only place I find a use for this clipper at this point is in paw pads, but only on tiny little dogs. If it's a, a dog, a Maltese size or, or bigger, I still like this. It gets right in there nice and gentle, the Kenshi Flash. I feel I have to work harder with this little guy to get the hair out of the paw pads, seriously. I love using it right around the detail work, uh, right around the eyes here, but it is a fixed 45 blade, so it's short. Okay, you can't use that in the private area. If it's a fixed 45 blade, that's what they said it was. So you cannot use that in the private areas. It won't, it won't, it's, it's, it's gonna irritate. We can't do that. So it's very limited. So for $99, I probably would, wouldn't have purchased it, but Kenchi sent me it to test and to give them feedback. They wanna know, and, and I will be telling them this, that I, I feel that I don't really have a need for this clipper, that this covers it all. This covers everything I would need to do. So, and that's just my opinion. My, from, from my grooming needs, the way I, what I look for in grooming clippers. So the next groomer may feel differently about their grooming needs and what they, the tools that they want. So, you know, all the feedback has to be given in order for them to, to keep making fantastic, excellent products for us that we want, you know, and that we love. But right now, this is my favorite five-in-one clipper. That's the Kenji Flash. So if you guys have one, if you already bought one before the others came out, you're golden. You don't need to replace it, trust me. Um, so Bonnie said, sorry, I was speaking about the wide blades. I have a KM. Uh, the wide blades you were talking about, do you need them for home grooming? Um, I like them. Anything to save time and make it easy, I love. And I, I, I will tell you, the difference between clipping with guard combs and wide blades 
versus guard cones and regular standard size A5 blades. I find the guard comb work looks better with these wide blades. I just It must be just the, the ground it covers, the angles I can get, I don't know, but I it produces better work for me and I really never, unless it's a very small dog, use the size anymore, the standard size guard combs on the standard size blades. I really go for the wide blades on pretty much everything, unless it's a very, very tiny, tiny, tiny dog. And that would be the only way that I wouldn't. Um, let me see if there's any more questions. It's hard for me to see them here. Um, Robin Banks says, I'm a newbie. Do you have a cheat sheet that tells us the length of hair that will be left on the dog using a certain blade and certain comb? I hope that that makes sense. I know exactly what you mean. I did create, um, it's, it's called, is it po possible? Is it possible? And uh, there was two sheets um, that you could take to your groomer because you don't know what length does a seven blade leave? What length does a um, purple guard comb leave? But the chart tells you what the length is and actually shows you an, uh, an in real time measurement of what that, what that is. So that was in, I did a live stream and it was called, Is It Possible um, to Ask P-A-W-S-I-B-L, to ask your groomer to tr tr so you could have this chart and say this this one can you do this one can you do this length and that went for blades and both um, attachment combs so I'll tell you what I'm going to do after the live stream I'm going to link those documents they are free downloads okay they're free downloads I'm going to link them in the description of this video so you can look for them and give me about an hour. I've got a lot of cleanup to do here and I have to start work in the morning. So I have a lot, I have to put all my, my equipment back, you know, and get stuff ready for work tomorrow. But give me about an hour. I will get that up there for you guys. It, it was very helpful and, and I was really, it was fun to make it. It was, it was a smart thing to make that for you guys because that will allow you to communicate with the groomer um, and say, I, I want the, I want the number two guard comb because I know it leaves this much length or whatever and, or if you're grooming your dog at home and you're saying I'm not sure which one of these guard combs I should choose having that chart can help you make that decision so and perhaps I will be making a cheat sheet like I did with this little guy if you haven't got my 11 steps to groom any dog table side teacher you might want to get it guys it's really good and it does only ship to people who live in the United States because I was really faced with a lot of shipping issues. But I should probably make another cheat sheet like this for blade sizes and guard combs so that you guys can have it near you when you're working and make those decisions a lot easier. So that's a good, I'm glad you said something, Robin, about how could I make something for those blade sizes that that's a very good idea and I really should do that um, Beth says how do you know when the blades need sharpening and how often do you usually need sharpening a lot of people ask me that how often it's not a time frame it often depends on the blade I can tell you that Kenchi is making better blades than anybody on the market right now in my opinion they hold sharpness longer um, they, they produce smooth clipper work. I've really noticed that. I'm very happy with them. So if the metal of the blade is, you know, the metal of one blade may be better than the metal of another blade. So it may hold sharpness longer than the other blade. So it's hard to, you can't really say all your A5 blades should be, remain sharp this long. I'll tell you, what keeps your blades sharp is that you clean them before and after every use. Clean them and oil them after every use, okay? So they're, or actually before you use them. I would do it before you use them. And I have videos and I've linked them in the description of this one. I have videos on clipper blade, clipper blades, clipper blades, the differences, clipper blade care, attachment guard combs, and dog grooming clippers. 
I've linked those videos. They have proven to be very helpful for many people. So they're linked in the description below too, guys. Um, I try to set you guys up so that when I get back in front of you every two weeks, I give you all this stuff so you can go learn more, you know, and take care of all them grooming needs and, and satisfy your questions. But so yes, definitely blades need sharpened for me professionally only about twice a year. Now, I do only groom three full days a week. That's all I groom now. I used to groom five full days a week. I still groom a lot of dogs. So I groom more than 15 dogs a week. Some of them are really big. So um, cleaning and oiling them before and after every use is probably gonna save you so much life. That, that's what I always tell you guys, and that's my recommendation. And um, I send them to Kenchi. Um, for sharpening they do a fantastic job Sean from SVCC toy schnauzers hi Sean Sean says I am um, so have I got it right the KM for the bigger parts of the body and the Kenchi flash on the pads and sanitary you got it right I like to use this when I'm setting patterns when I set pattern that Grace's pattern I would set it with my A5 blade. I just like the work it produces. I feel I can blend a lot easier with this clipper and the blade. Um, you can do it with this, only if you're using guard combs or you have a clipper that gives you the option to add like five, six, seven, four blades. Then you can use your five and one, but I feel it doesn't produce as good a work as this guy. That's that's why I'm giving you, that's my advice I'm giving you guys today, my wholehearted advice. So yes, you did get that right, Sean. That is what I mean. Body blading, little eggs, even setting the length on top of the head with a guard comb. You can do that with your A5 clipper, for sure, your wall cam tin. Sanitary, detail work, shaving the ears on a schnauzer, I like to do with these. You know how we clean the ears up and then we round the edges with shears? I like to do that with our five-in-one clippers. I think it does a, a beautiful job. All the detail work, I guess is a good way to say it. All the detail work, the five-in-one clipper blades, um, clippers shine in that. You know, that touching up corners of eyes, doing the ears, sanitary, pads of feet, all the detail work, the five-in-one clippers just, they uh, outperform this. This guy's a little cumbersome to do that kind of work with. It can be done. For years, this is all we had. So we got really good with them. Trust me. We get really, and you will get really good with whatever you use. So, um, yes. Yes, Sean, that's exactly right. You, you nailed it. So Beth says, how do you know when the blades, oh, I already got that one. Please, Darlene says, when should you use the lower speed? Good question. The lower speeds on multiple speed clippers and along with which blade, um, i.e. and is five speed. Okay, well the blade is your choice. If you're doing sanitary work, you wanna always use a 10 blade. Anything in the private areas is always a 10 blade. When you're doing body work, like setting length on the body and the legs, that's your choice, but I never would go shorter than a seven blade. So that's your rule of thumb. Never go shorter on the body or legs with a seven blade. And you can go all the way up to using guard combs, whatever length you want. That's up to you or, or even hand scissoring. Now, the lower speed, that's a good question. For beginners, people who take longer to do their clipper work. Now, it doesn't take me too long to get my clipper work. I'm very good with my clipper work. But I tend to ask people that are learning and that are slower because they're learning to use their clipper on low speed when possible because the blade will not heat up as quickly. You have to constantly remember to check your blade to see if it's hot and then you use Anda's Cool Care or switch the blade for a cool blade because it can burn the skin of a dog. So I always suggest that our new, newer people 
start trimming on the single speed for that reason. Um, another reason that you may go for the single speed versus the high speed is surely from because of sound and vibration to the dog. If the dog seems to be sensitive to the sound on high, try it on low, see if it helps. And that's the same with the Kenchi Flash. It has these settings. We can change it all the way up to a five speed. There's one, two, three, four, five. All of them will do the job. Um, if you're clipping with a guard comb or doing body blade and stuff, the higher the speed, the more it can get through that hair can get in there and it can get a nice even cut. So I like to use a higher speed, you know, if I'm clipping, doing body work, legs, stuff like that. Um, certain thick and heavy coats, you want to use your, your, your high speed because it needs to chew through that heavier, it's, there's more hair being fed into the teeth and then hitting the cutting edge of the clipper, if that makes sense. So how, that's a great question. You know, when do you use your, your two speed and what blades do you use? So the blade choice is yours depending on what you want to, what you're clipping and how much length you want to maintain, but never shorter than a seven on the body. That's my rule of thumb. And just see a couple more questions and then I'm going to show you something really cool, guys. Um, I got that one. Okay, good. Uh, just looking, just looking. Looks like I did get most of them that had a line in front of them. That's what I'm pulling out here right now. I'm sorry the chat was a mess. And our whole live stream got goofed up from the start, guys. So I'm so sorry. But thanks for sticking with me. Because I hope that the uh, information was worth it. Was worth you guys coming back. It was worth it. I'm glad to see you anyway. But Okay, so Anne has a question. Looking online, some Kenchis say Kenchi Flash. And some say Kenchi Flash 5. They look alike. No, they don't. Did you say the regular Kenchi Flash is not available? Yes, it is. And it's linked in the description below. So you don't have to go. You can just click on the link. This is a Flash 5. This is a Flash. They do not look alike. You can clearly see that. <laughs> they do not look alike. They have similarities. Um, this one is all digital. Flash is all digital. Everything's digital. This one, we manually move here to change the blade size, but the power and the settings are digital. So, um, yes, you can still get the Kenchi flash. It's on there. I've linked it in the description. Um, there are similar, not many differences between them, but I told you earlier, the difference is this blade on the Kenchi flash. I like it better. I honestly, honestly like it better than the performance on the Flash 5 or the new Joy Z Hornet. I just love this Kenshi Flash blade. It, it just does better work for me. I don't, I explained it earlier. You have to go back and watch this live stream if you missed that part of it, but I explained why that is. And it's definitely the teeth on that blade. So guys, I am so happy that we got together here today. Our next live from the grooming table is scheduled for Monday. February 27th at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the topic is dog teeth care and maintenance. I have never talked to you guys about that in one video. So we're going to hit it hard. We're going to hit it in two weeks, February 27th. So put it in your notes so you come back and you know when we're getting together and get your questions ready on that, okay? I love it when you guys bring questions to the grooming table. It really adds a lot of value to our conversation and it also helps you and that's what I'm here to do. So it's about dog dental, doggy dental, dog teeth care and maintenance, February 27th, Monday live from the grooming table. And now I have something special for you guys. Before I play this, I want to tell you guys, I really love you and I'm, I'm so sorry if it's going to make you cry because <laughs> it makes me cry every time I watch it. It's just, it hits you. It hits you good, in a good place. It hits you in a good place, okay? This commercial that I'm getting ready to show you. Nobody has seen it before. I hope you enjoy watching the Farmer's Dog 
Forever commercial featuring the bond between a girl and her dog, Bear. Never viewed by anybody but you right here, right now, tonight, guys. Are you ready to see it? I have to get back to this screen. I'm going to give it to you. Thank you for joining me tonight, guys. I love you. I hope I've helped you. Um, this video will be on the replay, so it can you can refer back to it if you found some cookies in here that really made sense to you and you need to check that out again, feel free to come back and rewatch it. That's why we have the replay. But right now I'm giving you something that nobody's seen before. For you. Are you ready? Because you guys are worth it. You're special and you deserve it. Here it goes. I'll see you in two weeks, guys. I love you and thank you for joining me. Here's the commercial. Farmer's Dog Forever. Let's not do that again, okay? Don't worry, dog, about the rest of our life. Through thick and thin, I'll be there by your side. Cause when I see those big, beautiful eyes looking into my eyes, I wanna hold. to have and to bear from this day forward. Come on, baby. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>